Welcome to Viral History, your weekly fix of all things history. This week's special edition comes from the Daily Mail Chalk Valley History Festival in Wiltshire. And we've got another exciting jam-packed episode for you this week. What a lovely day we have for it. It's bright and sunny here and lots of people are having a wonderful day out. Don't forget, at the end you've got me with On This Day. Now in its sixth year, the Daily Mail Chalk Valley History Festival is the country's leading history event, combining talks by prominent historians with living history displays that span the entirety of British history. You have this sort of slightly eccentric, uh, slightly mad sort of meetings of amazing historians, famous people, First World War trucks around us here, Second World War gun carriages, people firing black powder in the distance. If this place doesn't get you excited about the past and about history, it's never going to. We want people to come here and just have, be inspired and excited and have a wonderful time. And over the first obstacle, and under the barbed wire. Come on, this is a competition, I want to see the first person. Up. Don't get caught in the barbed wire. Keep your backside down, it's real barbed wire. And keep going, come on. Up over the balance beam, up over the balance beam. And under the cargo net, keep your backsides down. And I know it's a big backside, you've got to keep it down. Through the tyres, well done, and over the last obstacle. Good effort, good effort, well done ladies. <laughs> so what is this that we're going through then? So I'm just cleaning the wound. Okay. And I'm cleaning it from the inside out. Oh, okay. So it's all about not touching the wound, keeping the germs at bay and now I'm going to put a dressing on right. and now I'm going to put a bandage on to keep the dressing on top okay. so this will help the uh, dressing stay on it will keep the germs out and it will apply pressure yeah. To the wound and stop it bleeding. Okay. Um, what are the most common types of injuries that a nurse would have dealt with? Um, it's probably going to be uh, shell or gunshot wounds. Right. How many nurses would have been available in a place like this? It's just one of those that's got a lot of nurses. Uh, we have nurses like me who are qualified nurses so we would have uh, trained for three years okay. and we also have voluntary aid detachment nurses that have yeah. trained, they're the volunteers and okay. they will have trained for um, th about three months. Okay and what would happen next once a soldier has been bandaged up are they sent off? Do they have rest time? Uh, you would have stayed here and we would have nursed the arm until it was better oh, okay. because you're at the end of the line now. Yep. If, uh, if infection did get in and we might have to amputate yeah. then obviously that's a major surgical procedure. Okay. You would go to the surgical tent Ooh. and have your arm removed, okay. which wouldn't be very nice. Well, I'm glad that's not going to happen. I can go off and enjoy the rest of the festival. <laughs> this uniform was introduced in 1848. Prince Albert was involved in the design of this, but it basically, um, it's, it's almost like a negative of the, the, the state uniform, which you're quite right, was instigated uh, around about the time of Henry VIII. It actually is his dad, Henry VII, and he founded the Yeoman Warders, the Yeoman of the Guard, on the battlefield of Bosworth in 1485. Mm. So that's where we take our lineage back to. Uh, what was their original job? Uh, the original job was to actually be as close as I am to you, to the king, to protect his person. Um, and, and we still have that role today in, in, in ceremonial duties. Our job is to bodyguard Her Majesty. Uh, and that's why they, they like to choose us fairly big. So, you know, um, it's, it's difficult to get to Her Majesty through us. Are you that correspondent? Yes, yes. Come with me, we've got Jerry's on the bar. Oh, oh my gosh, what's happening? Look, have you got a gas mask? I've, I've got nothing. Right, I've, I've come with nothing. Have you got a handkerchief? You oh, dip it in oh, there. Oh. Have a good old dip in there. Go. Get it over your mouth and nose, you'll be fine. Oh my goodness. Right, come with me. Ready. Corporal! Oh, Take this correspondent out the front, will you? Right, you are this way, right, okay. you're going to meet the officer. Right. Now he's a good man, by the stickler for cleanliness and for politeness. Right, straight okay, okay, pockets. okay. Go stand there. Now, you're coming in as a reinforcement, I know you're a correspondent, but you'll be treated the same as my men. Right. If you come back here without a serious wound or injury, I will have you arrested and shot. 
I may okay. just personally do it myself. Off you go, Corporal. Right, this way, to the front. Off we go. You mean Sergeant Church? Don't want to get Call shot. him Sergeant, he's not an officer. Sergeant, down right, there. okay. Keep that head down, okay. Jerry Sergeant's okay. very active. Go! <laughs> Why am I? What time do you call this? Sorry, Sergeant, sorry. What time do you call this? Sorry. You're late! You're going over Terribly the top sorry. tonight. You're going over the top tonight! Take your randals and your barbed wire pickets. Get out there on no man's land. Screw them in, screw them in deep. Get that bar bar out. Right. This prince is getting through. He's getting through, I tell you. He's jumping down in the trenches. He's stabbing, he's mutilating. Right. Havoc. Havoc, I tell you. Corporal. Sergeant. Sergeant, we've got issues. Fritz has broken through the line. We've got to flush him out. You, fix bonus with me. Oh Don't my stop. Let's crazy. Ready? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Get out of there. Go, go, go. <laughs> Richard the Lionheart was crowned King of England today in 1189, though he only spoke French and spent only six months of his reign in England. Well, that's all from us for this week at Chalk Valley History Festival. But we'll be back next week with another packed show full of content from this wonderful event. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember, what's, what's past, past is prologue. prologue.